if you're looking for that seemingly unattainable, expensive vocal sound, then you've come to the right video. Now, we have a few options when it comes to vocal effects. Your typical ones are reverb. It's been a long night. Now my voice has grown thin. But reverb tends to push your vocals back into the background, and also it adds an effect that is really apparent. So, if you're looking for expensive vocals, and by expensive I mean it sounds up front, it sounds on top of the mix, it sounds like the vocals are coming out of the speakers. There's a trick that engineers who've been around for a while know of. Fortunately for you, you can do it with a plugin that's pretty inexpensive. Actually, there's two plugins, and the first one I would recommend is Stillwall CMX. I don't know what CMX stands for, but basically the idea behind this, and yes, you can do this effect for free without a plugin, but it requires like eight to 12 steps. I'm a fan of the plugin. This is 50 bucks. It gets you a sound. It's 30 if you use Reaper and your music is for non commercial purposes. 50 bucks for all the different dolls out there, including Pro Tools. So basically, what this effect does is it hard pans, or I don't know if it hard pans or it just pans it a little bit. It pans whatever signal you send to it and then it detunes them by a certain percentage so like right here is all the information so it delays by a tiny bit your signal and it detunes them so that it kind of sounds like there's different takes being played but this plugin actually goes a step farther and if you were to do this manually you might run into mono compatibility issues this plugin attempts to minimize those mono compatibility issues issues with phase and phase coherence, things like that. That's why I would recommend this plugin. Or your second option is little micro shift from Sound Toys. I'm not sure how much this costs these days, but I think it's around the same price, like $50, $60. Anyway, let's listen to it before and after soloed without the music, just so you can hear what it's doing. And then I'll blend it in to the rest of the mix. So this is without the plugin. Um, let's see, I'll just, I'll just mute it. So this is dry vocals. By the way, the other part of getting a fancy vocal, compression. So I got two layers of compression here. I have a de -esser, and then I have another layer of compression. So that gets the vocal nice and even. Very important that you do multiple steps of compressors. Otherwise, your vocal is going to sound too squashed. Now, right here is one more layer of compression, which is tape. And tape used to be used on every single production. Tape has its own compression sound, and I just love tape plugins, especially VTM from Slate Digital. But um, this is how I got the vocal to sound like it is without the extra effect. It's been a long night. Now my voice has grown thin. Okay. If you're wondering what's on the mix bus, here we go. So we have VCC. We have another uh, compressor for the mix bus and then VTM yet again. So you can see multiple layers of compression and this is nothing different than mix engineers do, except in this case, because I recorded everything without a compressor, we're doing everything in the box instead of compressing on the way in when you're recording because, again, I don't have that capability. So these are all the plugins that are on the mix bus. And then here we go with the effect now. So you heard the dry effect. It's been a long night. Now my voice has grown thin. It sounds good, but it's it's boring. It's it's not exciting. So let's add CMX onto the mix. It's been a long night. Now my voice has grown thin. You all look so stoned. <laughs> 
So like I said, it's almost like he's tripled his vocal nearly perfectly. Again, it's that changing the pitch that is making it sound fuller like that. So let's listen to it. I'm going to play the whole mix and take the, I don't know, I'll call it the expensive vocal trick. I'll, I'll put that on and off as this track plays. It's been a long night Now my voice has grown thin You all look so stoned Yeah, the next group wears an eager grin Please listen one last time The song's about to begin As my voice crones And travels off with the restless wind So you hear it sounds fuller it, like I said, it just has that expensive sound to it. And by the way, the, the real trick to getting this right is you got to make this ascend. Don't put it on your main track. You can, but I highly recommend using it as a send just like you would a reverb or a delay plugin. And you just want to subtly blend it in. And I have it up a little bit higher than I might do if this were actually a final mix because I want you to hear what it's doing, but this might actually sound okay to you. It's all about the volume. Once you get the sound you know, going good for yourself, you wanna make sure it's just blending in very subtly. You wanna hear it, but not where it's dominating the lead vocal because if it was way up, it just sounds wrong. So let's listen to what little micro shift can do. And you can see, my volume is way lower because for whatever reason, there was a big volume difference in the sends. It's been a long night. Now my voice has grown thin. You all look so stoned. <laughs> yeah, the next group wears an eager grin. Please listen one last time. The song's about to... Again, same effect as CMX, but different plugin. I think you're a little bit more limited with this plugin than you are with CMX, which is why I recommend CMX over this plugin. Um, but if you're a fan of sound toys, if you're a fan of Event Tide, then you'll love what they did with this. And there's also a more expensive version. I think it's just called Micro Shift. And uh, it, it does open up those options for you. So that I would recommend over CMX, but that's only if you don't have a low budget. <laughs> so let's listen to this in the mix context. First off. It's been a long night. Now my voice has grown thin. You all look so stoned. Yeah, the next group wears an eager grin Please listen one last time The song's about to begin Again, this is perfect if you don't want a reverb, if you don't want a perceptible delay on your mix, if you want your vocals just to sound dry and up front but still sound big, this is the key to making that happen. Also, this works really well on guitar solos and any keyboard sense that you want to sit on top of the mix at some point during your song. So any kind of solo where it needs to be the focus of the mix, you can blend this in with automation and it sounds awesome. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.